Hey everyone, this is Adam Rashid, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use the vector tool in Sketch. So let's get started. Um, simple document, uh, Command Shift I. This is a custom um, keyboard shortcut, but you can also press Insert Image from up there. Um, I have found this off of Google Images, and um, dis uh, let's uh, decided to use this for our tutorial. Um, normally, I don't typically just find things to use off the internet without people's permission, but since this isn't for a portfolio piece or anything, it's just for a YouTube tutorial that's free, I thought whoever drew this wouldn't mind. So um, let's turn down the opacity, opacity to 60, um, no, to 50%. The way I did that is simply by pressing 5 and you'll see that the opacity went down. Now we also need to lock this. So we press Command Shift L to lock it. That way I can't drag it around accidentally. Now we press V for vector. And uh, let's, let's start off by kind of creating the general points. Um, this is quite similar to um, the pen tool in Illustrator if you've ever used it. You simply uh, create points right now. I'm not looking to um, be accurate at all, as you can see, but I am looking um, to make sure that I have the points right. And I want to try to use as little points as possible. That ensures a very clean design. Um, also, you'll notice that I'm kind of separating um, out the the shapes where it's possible. And then we need and one one last one right here. Cool. Now uh, let's let's start with the ear right here. Now what we do again is press uh, or double click on it, and uh, I'll I'll walk you through these different anchor point types. Now you have um, straight, which is just that. Then you have disconnected, um, which shows you, which gives you the option of busier curves like this but they're not connected, meaning you can have kind of separate ones going on like this, which is what we need for that one. Zoom out a bit again. And um, you also have your mirrored, which is busier curves that reflect the same, that are the same on each side, like that. And you have your asymmetric, which is busier curve, but one can be longer than the other side. Um, so, uh, Let's pick that, and for this we need uh, disconnected, and right here is good. And um, when you use these different types of um, busier curves, you want to make sure it's it's the right time to use it. For instance, um, I'm using asymmetric here because uh, this is not a symmetric kind of shape. It's longer here and it's curved more around here. So what we can do is this as well. And you want to put the curve point on where it starts to change direction a little bit more abruptly. We can actually take care of this. We can let go of um, this curve altogether and have this one create a more smooth transition or curve. And I think we uh, got this one. Let's move on to this big shape right here. This will be fun. Let's double click and uh, get started with disconnected. Okay, let's put this down. 
use this more. Perfect. And so we can, uh, this will be mirrored because it's a very symmetric curve. This will also be disconnected. Let's put this back. Let's also make this disconnected. Perfect. Same with this one. if we can do a mirrored one right here should be fine perfect okay and what we need to do is work on these And I'm going to speed this up as well. Cool beans. All right. Um, let's, let's, um, make this, uh, actually, before we do that, let's get rid of, um, that by pressing command shift H to hide and unhide it. <clears throat> and let's bring this to the front. And let's bring this to right below the front. Um, so what we can do is add a fill. Let's make this that color and give it a nice like actually no let's give it yeah that works and make this a style called outline and have the other ones do that as well All right. Um, last thing finishes. Um, you'll you'll notice that this is really really horrible looking. So let's go back here and go up here. So what we can do is kind of do this thing where it's not as bad, and we can do the same thing here. Um, I know it doesn't make it correct to the sketches, but it looks a lot nicer. And another thing is we could uh, make this blend in with this little edge, but I actually like the way this looks because it kind of separates and shows that there's an ear here. And uh, lastly, we can um, kind of just add a fun, not so fun, it's all forced, but add a logo type thing right here. Cool, that works. Um, yeah. And that's how you use the sketch vector tool. I hope you liked it and found it useful. 
And if you want this um, sketch file, you can go ahead and go to sketchvids.xyz and uh, enter your email and you'll get full access to every sketch file on this YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.